Hey guys, my name is Akiram. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Beta Credit Guide. So in this video, I brought you one of the company which is in Wisex Sales Software Solutions. I have connected the online campus uh, drive, so which is for the British Royal College of Engineering. And I am going to explain the questions as well as the code which they are gonna, which they have asked in the uh, drive. Okay, so this is a company website. You can go to that later. So let us deep dive into the questions they have asked. <coughs> so they have asked only two questions, and here are the questions. So you are responsible for an implementing a blockchain um, payment system, I guess. In the system, a user payment history is represented using a linked list. Financial transaction. The transaction can be either sending or represented as negative numbers or receiving represented as positive numbers for funds. Okay. So your current task is to write a function, uh, calculate balance that calculates the current balance in a user wallet. The balance is determined by summing the funds sent out negative numbers and the funds received positive numbers in the transaction history. So which we usually know. So note, each node in the linked list represents a financial transaction with negative values includes the funds sent out and the positive values including the funds received. The function should calculate the balance by summing all the transactions in the linked list. The function should work for linked list of any size. The input of the functions are n, the size of the linked list, and the l1, ll, or the linked list. Okay. So let us see the actual uh, example output. So n is called three. And the linked list uh, they have given is 10, 9, 11. So the resultant is 30. Like 10 plus 9 plus 11 is equal to 30. So in case if they give a balance, we need to uh, remove that balance, right? So here you go. So n is equal to 3 and the linked list 20, minus 30 and 15. So minus 30 is a negative balance, which means we need to uh, subtract from the uh, actual positive. 20 plus 15 is 35, minus 30 is equal to 5. So this is the 5 is the actual answer. Either you can implement this is using a basic thing or you can use a linked list also. That's not a problem. Okay, let us see the code. So this is the code you need to do. Like we need to take the main function, get the input and get the values from the user. Then call it a function user linked list. Uh, this will be checking whether the n is zero or not. And then it will be splitting, creating a list, list creating a linked list here. And then we'll be calculating the get balance. So that will be returning the result from here. Like get balance, balance is equal to 8, 8. And then at last we'll be printing the result. So I will be pausing the video for a few seconds. You can uh, take a screenshot or note the code somewhere. Very simple program guys. Okay, let us see the second question they have asked. So prime numbers are natural numbers greater than one and that are divisible by only one and themselves. You are designed to advance mathematical tools and want to design a function find prime start and end that takes the starting end and uh, I can see ending values of an integer interval. Both inputs include as inputs and return all the prime numbers in the given interval is should return and the number of prime numbers found the resulting vector should always be non-empty. Okay, so let us see the uh, examples like start is equal to two and end is equal to four, uh, which means n is equal to two and the result is two comma three. So we need to find the number of prime numbers between the range. Okay, so let us see the example two also two and twelve. So for two and twelve we have a, a total of prime numbers called five and they are two, three, five, seven, eleven. Okay, so the prime numbers function should return all the prime numbers from the set 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8 and so on. So list as remaining values are not prime numbers as pri as 5 is prime numbers are not as 5 prime numbers are found. So n is equal to 5. Very simple program guys. So it is the actual code. Uh, it all passes the actual all text cases like this is the complexity in case if you want to deep dive into the prime numbers concept. Like we'll be taking the input start and end from the user and then we'll be passing the values to the find prime numbers. And then it will be uh, checking the range and also check whether the number is prime or not by using this function. Okay, you can write simply, but to make sure that every test case is passed, we have written in a complex manner. Okay, and then we will be returning the values. Okay, like n is equal to uh, and this is equal to so much. So that's the two questions asked in the sales software solutions drive on campus. So I will be posting more job updates. And off campus drive solutions also just please stay tuned on our channel and do subscribe for latest job posts all the best guys bye bye